Ah, so, yesterday I got an attack. <laughs> I didn't get attacked by someone, I got an attack. And not heart attack, I'll tell you what attack I got. But it was pretty real. It was pretty bad and pretty serious. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Relax, you know. I need to make a video. If I tell you everything in one second, how will I make some money, man? <laughs> then it'll be boring like yeah listen I got heart attack okay thank you I'm well bye it spoils a drama man. come on to stretch it you know at least minimum 8 minutes that YouTube wants anyway listen uh, anyway the, the climax of the story is I'm alive this is not the holy spirit of Loy Macedo making the video so that part you can be rest assured. And no, this is not clickbait. So just so that you know. I'll tell you what happened. You remember the shorts I uploaded yesterday? That was the cannabis. Now if in case you are, uh, uh, you know, below the age of 18, you would not be able to view that shorts because uh, YouTube restricts those kind of topics from uh, youngsters. Okay, so I was, uh, yeah, see yesterday, I don't know, I was just completely tired and just overwhelmed with so much of work, 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 work and videos. I thought, okay, I'll take a break. Normally even taking a break is tough. It's like, I don't want to take a break. Keep thinking, oh, this video, this customer, this client. So yesterday after I finish, uh, uploading three, not not uploading, shooting three videos. I have not uploaded it. I'll be uploading it before this one. You would see them, you know. So after I finished that, I went back home and surprised my wife and told her we'll go out. Okay. And she was like, why for video? I said, no, nothing. Just going out, relax, not take any video, nothing. So she was like, fine. It was a surprise for her. So I also dressed up and then we left you know sometimes you just want to take the family out you don't want to work you don't want to think of work you don't want to do anything you just just focus on and especially if you have a child you know you just want the baby to be happy you know so my baby likes french fries and likes going to burger king so my wife told her french fries, and this part will be also important huh? It's not part of the attack, but uh, I'll tell you why it's important. So remember this part that my baby wanted French fries. Okay. So what happened was uh, we went down to Central. Central is the only shopping mall in Samui. That's the, the, that's the only shopping mall. There's no other shopping mall on this island. So... Uh, at around I think one o'clock or something we left by two o'clock we left sorry so we went there and uh, before going to the shopping mall my wife also has to renew her driver's license so we stopped by a clinic we asked if the doctor was there they said the doctor is gone out come back after one hour so I was like yeah forget this went to another place uh, another hospital they took a little bit more money but I said let's just finish it off so after we finished that part off um, I took my wife to the shopping mall and there uh, at first I went to a new restaurant my wife was a little upset because we promised the baby french fries and here I was going for a totally different outlet okay so my <laughs> my wife's face was you know upset and I could make out a I just quite I said just enjoy the moment but Obviously, she couldn't understand because I want my baby and my wife to experience different things. So we had gone to this Japanese Korean joint. They give rice with bowl. It was only 100 baht, which is like uh, $3. So my wife was not too happy. We give the baby a little bit of rice and pork. So it was slightly sweet and spicy. It's like a 
kind of a bowl with rice, and egg and all that. Okay, that part uh, finished. Then uh, they were still eating, so I finished. I can't eat much, so because of my operation after my bariatric surgery, can't eat too much rice. So I went outside just to see what other stuff was open because most of the shops had closed down due to the COVID pandemic. So there, there was this, like you know, in UAE, uh, you have Baskin Robbins, the ice cream outlet. Here you have Swenson. Swenson is a like a international chain of ice cream. So there, I saw that they were giving two spaceships, you know, for children. It's like a plastic bowl which covers as a spaceship. So there were two. I was like this toy my child will like. So I went, told my wifey, okay, when we finish, there's another surprise. My wife was not too excited. I'll, and I'll tell you why this is also important, this detail of my wife not being happy. So, okay, went to Swenson and that ice cream, the thing, she was first not in a mood, but after she went there, she saw the ice cream bowl and all. I asked her which one baby will like. There were two. I'll see if I can show you the pictures of them. Maybe I'll show you at the end of the video when I reach home. So there were two. One was like a spaceship, but like a Easter egg. Uh, the other one was like a round saucer, you know, orange. One was blue, one was orange. So my wife said, take the blue because even the baby was saying she wanted that. So he bought one ice cream and my baby likes chocolate. So chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate particularly. I like macadamia. So I just like white. Now this detail is also important. I know many important details. So finally we ordered the one ice cream, but then my wife's mood changed. Maybe because she saw the baby happy or she also ate some ice cream. You know, women's mood changes with chocolate. So then she said, can we buy the other one? So I said, go ahead and buy, baby will be happy. So this time when she bought the second uh, ice cream, so the first one was chocolate. Second one, I said, okay, order macadamia, which I like. Now, this was uh, another critical mistake. Remember what I told you, I ate rice before and now I'm having ice cream. See, for someone who has a bariatric surgery, this is carbs and sugar. So, okay, we ordered a uh, macadamia and my baby doesn't like macadamia much so I was busy eating I normally don't eat a full scoop I just eat two or three spoons but here since the baby was not eating the scoop uh, I had to ask my wife to help me to eat it so I ate a little bit half wife ate half I ate even though I didn't want to eat too much okay ate that I had a good time took both those plastic uh, a, you know, giveaways. And then we went to the area where the baby plays with the, you know, there is a slide and there's a, like a sand area, sandy area where children play. You know, there's, you know, like riding on a horse, which is like shaped like a horse, but it has a spring, you know, back and forth. And there's like a rope kind of thing where children climb. My baby loves to play in that area. And there were other children there. So baby loves to interact with other children also. You know babies are so there my wife was playing with the sand and with the baby and then other babies joined in my wife is a good mother she was taking care of <laughs> it was so nice i should have taken a photograph my wife was surrounded by these babies and she was making you know sand castles with that same that egg that dish which we got that washed it so now she was using it as, as a sand thing to make those shapes and the spoon you know, it was a plastic soft spoon for children. So they were using that and they were cute little babies there. Mostly foreigners because, you know, on this island, other than Thai people are all foreigners. So all these blonde, blue-eyed babies. So they're playing with my baby and my baby also made a friend who was really big, big girl. And they both were running around and playing. Okay, good company. So I waited there having a... A nice time and then uh, once that was over oh by the way I bought some fruits also uh, for my wife and baby and coconut water because they're playing in the sand and here again I drank more carbs and sugar okay so remember what I'd eaten 
finally all this is over and that was where when we were coming out you remember that uh, shorts that i uploaded about you are getting weed you know the different i uploaded that shorts and uh, yeah you know worthwhile content so then as we are about to leave my wife uh, said see listen you promised a baby french fries ah oh, okay fine so instead of going and finishing off the rest of the day shopping we went to burger king and there we are ordering french fries so you ordered the french fries and juice and you know whatever i didn't eat much uh, because already full i popped one or two french fries in my mouth that's it again carbs now finished baby was happy because baby got her french fries wife is happy because you know now she is enjoying her mind is out out of that sad part that i took the baby for rice and then as we were going my wife you know it's a day for wife and baby on the left hand side we pass by a um, you know it's it's like they sell clothes okay cheap clothes for women and children and i think men i'm not too sure but for mainly for children so my wife said can we stop there i'll buy some stuff for the baby and i didn't want to stop but i was like ah okay fine whatever fine so i stopped the car turned around stopped there and you know women when they are shopping they take their time and the baby was running around she asked me to look after the baby and next to that was a small store where there were toys so baby was running around it that place was slightly warm so as i was there this is where uh, i started to feel my sugar going down now see if you follow the part of the story ye red ant ouch fuck i red ant bastard ye fuck it bit me ye red ant the the bite is like a fire ass spoil the story <laughs> okay so what i was saying was uh, now remember i told you what i ate right rice very little pork but more of rice and that that was slightly sweet then i ate that ice cream on top of that i had a coconut water so all more carb more sweet more this so there i started to feel my sugar is going down because it went to a peak you know when you take sugar your energy goes right up shoots up so there from up now obviously it has to go down you know sharp down and there i started to feel slight uh, jittery i started to feel like uh, i started to shiver a little bit and i noticed my sugar was going down i noticed now normally it will take half an hour i can hold but because of the intense heat and because i had sh explicit sugar okay it was not like fruit juice or this thing this is actual like ice cream i was feeling it i thought i could handle it and now the baby is running around and it started to go down and i was like need to have something and uh, then i called my baby you know my baby wants to run around and play and you know it's a store where you get like 1 dollar small small stuff my wife is in the other store so uh, i went to my wife and i told my wife See, listen. Uh, can you take care of the baby? Now my wife was in the shopping mood, and she thought I was trying to disturb her. And <laughs> she was, she didn't know my sugar is going down. So I told her, listen, the baby. She said, no, you can't leave. You have to be with the baby. At least take care of the baby. I said, no, you take care. I will just come back. And now my sugar started to go. I really was feeling it. Like fuck, this is not good. you know it happens it started in a in a span of 5 minutes or 10 minutes or it was going rapidly down and i could feel you know you start sweating more profusely i'll tell you when you get this i don't know what is this called hypoglycemia or whatever uh when it starts going down you start shivering you start having a cold sweat your whole body sweating huh? sweating like bad okay it's like as if you went for a run with heavy clothes on you know you can you have that 
sweat and that smell of that sweat no like you're soaking wet so i was like literally and then you know my eyes started drooping and so i told my wife my wife was not aware of this so i told her, you just take care of the kid i immediately turned around and i could feel it going back like man i need to take something and there were no shops near like for food or all that you know so i went to the scooter i had taken the heavy one forza f o r z a it's a heavy one so 250 i think 350 or 500 cc bike or maybe 250 cc bike started it it was heavy and this is where this is a funny bit or you know scary bit as i was driving my eyes started to droop i was not able to see i even now when i recollect uh, i was like i and the funny thing is i was searching for this convenience store 711 i passed by one i didn't even realize i was like where is this where finally i saw one it was at a turning junction i stopped there at the side and now i'm sweating real bad okay shivering actually <laughs> it was bad i stopped it there and there uh, i'm trying to <laughs> you know when you're trying to focus on something and your sugar is going down you're like opening eyes and closing and opening eyes and you can see the car and then like <laughs> how they have the hollywood movies no this whole everything was like shaking like as if i you know actually like just imagine like this you know like <laughs> so <laughs> i bloody hell i don't know how i cross the road i you know put my hand up i cross the road went to the 711 and there i'm desperately trying to keep my eyes open and trying to you know they speak in thai obviously they don't know my sugar is down they must have thought i was drunk or something so i immediately went i saw one of those sandwiches with ham and cheese i just pulled one uh, right off and there i had to drink something so i was trying to search something i just took milk uh, whatever milk was there i put the money there i said just take you know they obviously che chatting so would you want like in thai would you want something more i just said no just just give me this and i guess i figured out something was not right with me they say okay 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 there they got a little worried because i'm sweating huh bad <laughs> and uh, i take the milk now they have to heat the sandwich i went out and i couldn't stand anymore there was the stairs you know it was on the stair with these hands <laughs> so i went sat down there i just <laughs> this part don't ask me i i was like uh, i i i just can't remember what i was seeing i just slurped it all down i closed my eyes i had no energy to stand and by the time you know you know they have this thing the door every time it closes and opens uh, good evening welcome or good morning welcome or welcome or you know something so they they called me and said your sandwich is ready i went there i was you know still like this and they gave me the sandwich i took the sandwich it was hot you know in that plastic and they have that cardboard kind of like thin cardboard thing where they keep the sandwich i pulled it out i remember looking at it it was slightly charred slightly burnt but i was uh, i was just biting into it i was not in opening my eyes you could feel the taste especially when i drank that milk you could feel that sudden burst of sugar in my mouth i normally don't take sweet milk but uh, this one was sweetened obviously i couldn't read couldn't see uh, took this hand in the first bite could feel something solid going inside could feel the meat and the cheese and all that and took the second i gobbled it up and i'm still closing my eyes i really wanted to lie down and sleep because i was feeling so dizzy but obviously you can't sleep there or people will think i'm drunk or <laughs> anyway they don't mind but i was still closing my eyes i was still just, just like this you know uh had and i just stayed there i didn't move i think by the time my wife was calling me the phone was vibrating but i couldn't pick up the phone i couldn't talk nothing so finally after i think 
I'm just assuming 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Finally, I could feel the air, cool air blow and I was just, I still was sleepy. I was very sleepy. I wonder, I, I just wanted to lie down and sleep, but I was like, no, okay, I can get up. Finally opened my eyes. I was like, okay, still feeling dazed, you know, lightheaded. Went to my scooter and uh, drove carefully. Went, picked up my wife. Went, my wife had, by that time, I think, just walked to another convenience store uh, nearby. Like I told you, no, I, I couldn't see. I missed a couple of convenience stores, so she walked a little bit. She was with the baby. I didn't tell her anything. She was wondering, like, why did I just go off? Maybe I was in one of those mood swings of mine. So then after that, obviously, we had to go shopping and buy stuff, you know. So as we were going, I still could feel the sugar, the thing, not up to the mark. So I ate uh, M&M's chocolates, you know, the, the bar, then had a banana. And then, yes, I definitely wanted some protein solid, you know. So, by the time I think another 45 minutes as we were going different places shopping, I told my wife, this is what happened. I think she didn't understand the severe, you know, how severe the situation was. Finally, when we reached home and I told her again, I think that was when she understood how bad it was. And, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to sleep, but there were customers and clients and all that stuff. So they, they want their response, you know. Nobody gives a fuck whether you're sick or not. So I made sure I answered the email. So I was telling me sleep. I said, okay. I didn't respond to any of the uh, WhatsApp messages until I felt okay. By the time I think my energy all came back and after the emails, it's feeling stronger. And then what's up and <laughs> I ended up blasting a few of my members. <laughs> it was one of those days, I guess. One of them got thrown out. I'll tell you all about it in another video. Ah, he was stupid anyway. So, you know, the why am I sharing this with you is yeah, obviously, make another video, good topic, but not that. Yeah, it just shows you how fleeting life is, you know. See, the thing is, uh, to be honest with you, I'm really glad I'm being reminded of my situation. I'm really glad that I have these near brushes with death. The reason being is it keeps you grounded. You know, otherwise, if you are perfectly healthy and you don't feel anything, any problems, you think you're invincible. You know, I just told my wife that, like your father who died a heart attack, just died in his sleep. I would have died. I could have died, you know. Just imagine, I'm not able to, okay, I'm driving and I have to take the sugar or I'll collapse. Anything can happen. So it keeps you... I don't know. I don't know if the right word is humble, but keeps you grounded. It makes you realize your time can be up any time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, these discussions with the wife, if I die, remember. So she knows that every minute we spend may be the last. Like a father dying, we never thought the father would die, never. But lo and behold, he just died. That also one week before they had planned to meet him. So for me, being constantly reminded uh, by through this incident, it kind of leaves you alert, thoughtful, you know, very aware of your situation. And you appreciate life. You appreciate life in a way that you wouldn't otherwise. 
Yeah, I know, I have to take care of my health. One of the pre preventive measures which I've decided from now on is I'll keep the goo gel, you know, that gel, energy gel that I have. It'll always be in my bag, always. I'll keep one with me and one with my wife. So in case tomorrow anything happens like that, that is there and... Uh, I think next time I have this ice cream and all that, I'll just be careful because... Uh, man. If you are at home, fine, you're safe. But if you're outside, this is messed up. And I think especially when traveling anywhere, I think you need to be careful because if in case nothing is available, then I think I'm properly fucked. <laughs> and that will be the last video of Loy Macedo and then my haters will say, See, God punished you. Loy, ha ha ha, God punished you. <laughs> you know what my answer is to that. And trust me, even if it was my last day, and someone would say, accept God and you live forever in the kingdom of heaven and so just fuck it, man. Who wants this religious bullshit? I'll still stay true to who I am and what I am. Anyway, anyway this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts. And if any one of you has this problem, hypoglycemia or sugar falling down or whatever, just put down your, I don't know, solutions, strategies. What can be done, man? I don't have diabetes, thankfully. So just let me know what, what, what are the solutions for this? Anyway, obviously, eat smart and all that. But anyway, this is what I wanted to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm alive for another day. Cat has nine lives. Catman. Right, you guys take care. Yalla.